hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to start a new topic a new subject and uh, the name of uh, this uh, subject which we are going to start is as you can see is internet of things iot so this subject is uh, quite uh, in popular demand these days it's trending and uh, it is particularly interesting because it has links connection with each and every subject which we have discussed so far okay so it has a connection with uh, computer networking and data communication it has links with the uh, communication systems engineering instrumentation engineering automation computer programming uh, big data cloud computing everything okay so basically each and every subject that exists it has some connection with this iot the subject because the very purpose of this field is to implement various uh, services various features involving the various things that are present in the world that's why it is called as internet of things basically what it means is connecting each and every device every apparatus mostly which are powered by electricity to connect it to the internet basically connecting all the devices together okay so this is what is called as internet of things so we will first discuss some basic concepts related to it then we'll go to the intermediate portions and then the advanced so in this first video we will discuss some basic things related to iot or internet of things so first what is internet of things so as i said this internet of things it is made up of two words internet and things so basically it means connecting everything that is present on planet earth today connecting each of those things to the internet be it any electronic gadget a telephone a smartphone a refrigerator a air conditioner a motor a generator a car train aeroplane anything or uh, any other machinery each of those devices has to be connected to the internet by some means okay now we have already discussed about internet and networking in the computer networking and data communication video so you please check out those videos first i have posted around 15 to 20 videos related to computer networking and data communication the basic introductory concepts you can check out those videos first so that you understand these things in a better way because a lot of terminologies that we are going to use in uh, this iot while discussing this uh, iot those are already being uh, covered up in the computer networking and data communication uh, that subject so you please check out those videos first okay now so the internet is basically interconnection of networks i've already discussed it in detail there so here i will just discuss it in a short so the interconnection of networks is basically called as internet in short now what is a network a network is basically a group a collection of uh, devices gadgets or sensors actuators processors controllers anything which is powered by electrical means which are connected interconnected with each other 
basically for data sharing purpose to exchange data and internet is basically a collection of such uh, networks more than uh, two or three such networks multiple networks okay multiple networks interconnected to each other is called as internet okay so internet is basically interconnected networks and network is a group or collection of multiple devices gadgets which are connected to each other for data exchange now we have discussed the internet part of the internet of things okay in short now what are the things in iot so as i said the things in iot it can be anything that is powered that is operated through electrical or electronic means okay anything that is powered electrically it qualifies as a thing in iot it means it can be connected to the internet it can become a part of the iot network examples any electrical machinery gadgets such as air conditioner refrigerator um, microwave whatever then various sensors actuators transducers controllers processors anything which is powered by electrical or electronic means it falls under the category of things from the point of view of iot and the objective of iot is to connect all these things together so these things they have certain attributes certain features associated with them so these devices these things they have unique identities and uh, they are uh, identified through the ip addresses internet protocol address or the url specific url is assigned to them then they should have the capability of sensing processing controlling actuation or monitoring any of these features any of these tasks they should accomplish they should either be used for sensing purpose processing controlling some feature or any other equipment actuation and monitoring these are used for one or uh, two or three of the following purposes that are listed here okay and uh, another important characteristic of these uh, devices that are used in the iot network is that they are specifically used for data exchange to share data and information with each other every other device in the iot network okay so basically we can uh, visualize iot as something like this so here the various devices gadgets machinery electronic appliance it is connected to one big network which is called as the iot network they are interconnected to each other it can be a computer it can be a bulb it can be a phone it can be a generator it can be an air conditioner it can be a motor it can be a smart tv it can be a loudspeaker a microphone a gaming console anything anything that you can imagine that is operated electrically can be a part of the iot network these are just to uh, name a few so if we want to define iot give a proper definition to iot we can say that internet of things iot is a world of interconnected things and we already know what those things are and the the things that are the part of the iot network they are generally used for the purpose of sensing actuating controlling and communication okay communication and they have the ability to exchange or share the data and information that they have accumulated and to function autonomously and respond to the various events or situations that are happening in their surroundings and 
the most important characteristic is that it is completely automatic it is programmed in such a way that it is completely automatic automatic response is achieved and there is minimum or no human contact or human intervention or interference is required everything is automatic in iot it is designed in such a way or minimal uh, interference of human beings okay so this is the basic way to understand the internet of things concept now the objectives of iot as i said so the first objective is to connect the various things that are present today which are powered by electrical means it can be devices appliances machines anything the second objective is to achieve the exchange of data and information among the connected things the connected devices then sensing processing control actuation and monitoring based on the data which is gathered okay for that various uh, programming softwares are used which determine what parameter is to be sensed what is the threshold value how it is processed to generate a particular control action and which parameters are to be monitored so all it is controlled through the central controller unit and the processing unit based on the various programs that are written into the system software okay so as i said it is a combination of various engineering branches computer science instrumentation communication uh, all the branches and uh, the final is to provide services various types of services are provided by the iot system it can be sensing processing control actuation monitoring which are required in various fields okay so these are the objectives of the iot network now the characteristic features of iot now the first feature of iot is it is self adapting so it means that it can automatically adjust with the changing situation okay in the environment or the surroundings in which the iot is installed for example suppose for uh, the automatic traffic control system or let us take another example the street light system the automatic light system during daytime it is programmed in such a way that the street lights are all off okay the street lights are all off during the daytime but when as the evening comes okay the evening approaches it automatically gets turned on so basically the principle here is that there are suitable light sensors photo uh, sensors that are installed in that system which monitor the intensity of sunlight and when it drops below a certain level the lighting system is activated that is another example another is in the traffic control system the cameras that are installed they adjust according to the uh, light conditions during daytime they operate in a particular way during night time they operate in a particular way in order to achieve high quality Uh, recordings or high quality images of the uh, traffic uh, situations so these are the examples of self adapting then is the self configuring so self configuring means that uh, the iot network they have the capability to update themselves okay according to the latest network features and infrastructure to fetch the latest software upgrade package and to set up the networking automatically without human intervention okay there is uh, no need to manually uh, upgrade a particular network it is done. everything is is automatic that is the self configuring capability then we have is the interoperable communication protocols so as we know that the most important objective of iot is to exchange or share data and information among the various devices in the network 
for that suitable guidelines suitable uh, standards or protocols are uh, accepted and uh, defined in the iot network and those communication protocols they allow them to exchange data or to share data among themselves that is where the interoperable this word comes into play so this interoperability allows the various devices in the network to exchange data and information among themselves and the last feature the most important feature is the unique identity in order to identify which device is monitoring or which device is involved in a particular task in order to pinpoint a particular device a unique identity has to be assigned to it and in this case the identity is in the form of a ip address or internet protocol address or url universe universal resource locator okay these are the commonly used techniques to assign identities to the devices in the iot network okay so these are the characteristic features of iot so here we have covered some of the very basic concepts related to internet of things in order to give you a good understanding about what this subject is all about okay in the coming videos we'll discuss uh, the various concepts associated with it in a step by step manner so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much